Hey everybody, it's Mitch, Mitch and, and welcome, welcome to my, my next video. video. Today, we have got a, well, it's, it's a review video, video sort of. It's uh, uh, Pathfinder versus GURPS. GURPS. And, um, well, well, we're going to be talking about Pathfinder and GURPS, uh, specifically Pathfinder 1st Edition and GURPS 4th Edition. And uh, we're, we're going to be comparing and contrasting and really just talking, talking about them. So... It's, it's an interesting, interesting uh, couple, couple of systems, systems here. here. So Pathfinder is um, something of a fan-made Dungeons & Dragons 3.5 uh, game. Uh, so basically, uh, some of the devs from 3.5, uh, you know, after they stopped being devs at 3.5, or after they stopped being devs at 1st 3.5, I think, I think they, they got fired or maybe quit. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what happened. happened. But anyways, um, they, they weren't there anymore. And they decided to uh, that 4th edition wasn't any good. So they decided they were, they were going to make their own game. Um, and that's what they did. Uh, they based it very, very heavily off of Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. But they changed some things. They patched some things. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, but because it's not Dungeons & Dragons, it's not made by them. Uh, they, they weren't, weren't able, able to keep, keep like a lot of like the lore and stuff um, because, because a lot of that was like trademark. So Pathfinder ended up uh, basically without any real lore. Uh, it ended up being uh, just a mechanic system, and that's about it. Um, whereas GURPS, GURPS was designed um, for it to be just a generic tabletop role-playing game. Uh, in fact, that's actually that's, actually that's almost exactly what it stands for. Um, uh, it, it actually stands, stands for Generic Universal Role Play System. System. So, you know, I wasn't, wasn't even trying with that first one. And I actually dang near got what, what it stood for. Um, so, yeah, uh, GURPS, uh, it's, it's designed to handle any kind of system. system. Unlike, you know, Pathfinder and Dungeons and Dragons, which are very much um, all about uh, uh, medieval fantasy, GURPS can handle anything. It can, it can do medieval fantasy. fantasy. Is it as good? Uh, at medieval, medieval fantasy as Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder? Pathfinder? No, it's, it's not. But um, is it able to handle other things much better? Oh, yeah, 100%. Um, the, the system is completely different. different. So with Pathfinder, you got your standard D20 system that, uh, you know, that uh, came about with Dungeons and Dragons 3rd uh, edition and it's kind of been the staple in Dungeons and Dragons ever since. Uh, whereas GURPS uses a 3D6 system. Um, so, so in Dungeons and Dragons, Dragons, you roll, roll a d20, d20 add, your add your modifier to it, to it and see if you're uh, higher than uh, the check that you have to beat. If you are, you succeed. If you aren't, you fail. Simple as that. Uh, also, if you tie, you succeed. Um, whereas with GURPS, um, it's different. GURPS, you actually want to roll lower than what you're going for. So you roll 3d6, and if you happen to roll lower than what your check is, then you succeed. And then the check uh, is, is your ability score. score. So if you, uh, is your, your ability. So if your ability happens to be high, um, then, then you can roll higher and still succeed. Um, which, which is kind of nice, nice, especially seeing as using 3D6 does actually incorporate a bell curve into the system, which is kind of nice in all honesty. Um, it definitely makes it so that uh, certain things are more likely than others. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that, that bell curve is really, really uh, it, 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 it makes, makes the world seem more believable and more realistic, it, it, which, which is, is really nice. And, and the fact that it doesn't use a class system, it just uses a point system. system. You just, just buy uh, whatever you want for however many points it costs. Uh, that's, that's quite handy, handy too. So GURPS is really cool like that, uh, that, that you can um, you know, just, just save up points or spend points immediately to just get, get new skills or make your ability stronger. Uh, or, or whatever, whatever to make yourself, yourself stronger. I, I I really like that. that. Um, whereas uh, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, not Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, oh yes, Dungeons and Dragons, but Pathfinder, Pathfinder is what we're talking about. about. Um, Pathfinder, Pathfinder, you're going to end up with uh, um, uh, class, class system, system where uh, you gain experience, experience, and then once you gain enough experience, you level up, and then you just gain whatever uh, you're supposed to for that particular class that you went into. Yes, yes, you can, can change the, uh, you can choose whatever class you want, you can multi-class, so just because you've been going fighter when you level up doesn't mean you have to go fighter again, you, you can go druid this time if you want. Um, you know, that, that's an option. Uh, maybe not the best option, but it's an option. 
Uh, so, so that's, that's kind of something, plus there's certain things that you get that aren't class-related, like every three levels, uh, you get, get a, yeah, a feat and all that kind of stuff. stuff. So, um, yeah, yeah, some really, really cool basic stuff. stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's... that's uh, where, uh, so, so uh, and, and you know, GURPS doesn't, doesn't have a whole lot of lore either, um, mostly, mostly because it's generic, so there's, there's no lore in that either, either. so neither, neither system really has much lore to speak of. Uh, they're both very much heavy on the mechanics uh, side. Now, uh, in either game, there can, of course, be lore because your uh, DM or GM can, I think actually in both cases it'd be GM, uh, uh, would... Um, create the lore for you. you. Um, so, so that's, that's something. Like they, they could like create, create a world and like build lore into their world. Um, a, a good GM, GM can definitely, definitely do that for you. you. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, 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 Dungeons and Dragons, Dragons it uses a grid system. So it uses a square grid. Whereas um, uh, GURPS it uses a uh, hex grid uh, for its battle system. So, so that's a bit of a difference. difference. And, and in, in like Pathfinder, Pathfinder as well as Dungeons and Dragons, Dragons, you don't see uh, a lot. Uh, like the direction, direction you're facing doesn't matter. Uh, whereas in GURPS, it very much does. Um, so, so that's, that's kind of interesting and kind of cool. cool. Uh, the turn, uh, the amount, amount of time a turn is is very different. different. Like in Pathfinder, I'm pretty sure just like in uh, Dungeons and Dragons, it's six seconds, whereas GURPS actually uses a one second system. So, so that's interesting. interesting. You can do a lot, lot less on your turn, turn but um, you know, know what it kind of forces you know you to like, like the enemy, enemy can do stuff to interrupt, interrupt things. So it's, it's very interesting, interesting in that regard. I really like um, I really like GURPS for that. that. Uh, so, so yeah, yeah. Um, both, both systems are great. Are great. Uh, let's see. I played Pathfinder for about a semester. No, for about one summer. Uh, it, was it was pretty, pretty fun, fun for the most part. part. Uh, probably, probably would have been, been better if I had a better group, group but you know, you know that, that is what it is. Um, uh, maybe, maybe some other time. time. <laughs> um, let's see, GURPS. I uh, I played that for a little over a year, I think. Um, I had a really great uh, DM, a uh, uh, great uh, group uh, for the most part. So that was quite fun. Um, I really, really enjoyed GURPS. Uh, so. I personally would enjoy playing it for any non-medieval setting. Um, uh, any kind of custom setting that you want to do. GURPS is kind of the way to go. Uh, anyways, um, that's really all I have to say about that. Uh, so that's uh, Pathfinder uh, First Edition and GURPS Fourth Edition for you. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel uh, for more of these kinds of videos. I mostly do Dungeons & Dragons 3.5 stuff, actually. Uh, so if you enjoy 3.5, definitely subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on a video. Anyways, as always, I'm Mish. Not be seeing you.